uh, Mount Cedar's high. And you know what? It's Mount Cedar season. It starts when we have our first hard freeze uh, or at least a widespread freeze and that's happened and it stays with us until things green up in the spring. So Mount Cedar's high today. Fungus is always on the pollen page and today that's low. So just exactly what is Mountain Cedar? Where does it come from and when will this mess in for us? So Mountain Cedar, it's it's here it is. It's a type of a juniper tree. It's actually not a cedar tree. It's a type of a juniper tree and Mountain Cedar or juniper is so potent because of the sheer amount of pollen released guys we got to admit it it's all, the problem is always the male it's the sheer amount of pollen released by the male plant I'm not making this up either so now through early March until we start to green up we're going to have these these huge amounts of pollen that will be released and the male plant what it does is it turns brown it releases these clouds of pollen into the air where does it take place? It takes place down in hill country. So the mountain cedar, the juniper, it grows mainly in uh, Texas hill country. That's to the south of us. And watch this. When we have those southerly winds, like we have so often time here in uh, North Texas, those strong southerly winds, it brings all that mountain cedar, all of that juniper down into central Texas, down in hill country. It just blows it all up into uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, and into North Texas. And once again, that season will last until we start to green up in the spring. And the beauty of North Texas is then we'll have then we'll have elm, we'll have uh, oak, and we'll have all the different problems in the spring. And then we'll have issues in the summer, and then we're right back into hay fever season and ragweed in the fall.